Could it be curtains for the great, boozy British package holiday? In a blow for teenage holiday makers across the nation looking for a post-exams blowout, one of the country's favorite party destinations, Malia in Crete, is restricting access to groups of pissed-up clubbers in favor of families from better-behaved countries. Up to 95% of the town's hotels have banned package deals for the 18 to 30 age group. Really it should be 18 to 20, because anyone who has been there will tell you that by 21 you're already too ancient for Malia's notorious strip, and 10,000 British holidaymakers have now been turned away. It serves us right. Brit's bogus food poisoning claims. Leave hoteliers crying, basta, read more a week of Cernburnt binge drinking at Chlamydia ridden. Foam parties followed, next morning, by a dose of emergency contraception and an interpretation of a full English, involving inexplicable frankfurters, has become, in the last decade or two, a rite of passage for young British people keen to blow off steam after their exams. Resorts such as Magaluf, Falaraki, A.U. Napa, Cavos and, of course, Malia have become synonymous with a certain type of party-goer. This is nothing new, the paralytic Brits on tour genre of fly-on-the-wall reality. TV programming has proved itself to have much mileage, its interpretations ranging from sun, sex and suspicious parents to the in-betweeners film. Tabloids relish the photographs of scantily clad, vomit-strewn young women that emerge each summer, and videos of the tawdry, sex games played in bars at the behest of tour operators go viral. This coverage often carries an unpleasantly shaming tone, not to mention an unsavory dollop of classism. There's historically been a snobbery around package holidays on the part of those who seem to believe that working-class people don't deserve or aren't fit to travel, which ignores the fact that bad behavior in resorts such as Malia transcends class boundaries, not to mention that a large proportion of these kids are middle class. There's also the uncomfortable fact of our reputation as holidaymakers abroad, it's wretched, and we all know it. I doubt that this will have been helped by Brexit. Much of Brit's behavior abroad is what might be termed Brexit. I doubt that this will have been helped by Brexit. Our standing on the continent is at an all-time low. Indeed, much of Brit's behavior abroad, the sense of entitlement, the determination to behave in ways one never would at home, the lack of respect for cultural or linguistic diversity, the pig-headed belief, even when your head is in a toilet, that you're somehow superior to other countries, is what might be termed brexit -y. This isn't about being a Puritan who feels holidaymakers should be banned from enjoying themselves, it's about accepting that we have a certain reputation because we have a certain genre of tourists who believe themselves to be better than everyone else, and that we should be ashamed of it. I've been to Malia, despite, at 26, being far too old for it, because flying into Crete is a cheap way to get to the more sedate Cyclades. Islands, 